Hello everybody, Lurgs here, and today how to top up the salt on your dishwasher. Now isn't salt a wonderful thing? We put it on our icy roads, we put it on our boiled eggs, and we also put it on our chips. Oh! But today we're going to be putting it in our dishwasher. And for this you need dishwasher salt, which you can pick up from any supermarket. And it's essential to keep your salt topped up in your dishwasher because it prevents lime scale buildup and it also acts as a water softener, especially useful if you live in a hard water area such as us. On most dishwashers, the salt reservoir would be on the left hand side at the base of the unit. There should be this universal sign for salt. Just going to have a very quick cup of tea. Oh. To remove the salt lid, you just turn it anti-clockwise. Now, if you haven't topped this up for a while, this could be a little bit stiff, so get a really good grip on it. Now, this one is a little bit dirty, so we'll give that a clean a bit later. This is a slightly different dishwasher, and sometimes when you remove the salt lid, you'll get lots of water coming out, and this is completely normal. It's nothing to worry about. So take your dishwasher salt, and when you bought your dishwasher, you should have been given a funnel with it. If you haven't got the original funnel, any funnel will do. It's much easier with a funnel because you don't want to spill the salt into the base of the dishwasher. And then just start pouring it in. Now as you pour it in, it will displace the water that's inside the salt reservoir. Now this again is completely normal, nothing to worry about. Just keep going until you can see the salt near the top of the salt reservoir. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about what to do if your dishwasher is not draining water. I'm going to quickly use my wife's toothbrush to clean the lid. Max, have you been using my toothbrush for cleaning the dishwasher? Um, no. With your wife's toothbrush and some hot soapy water, just give this a really good clean before we put it back on. And then it should look like this. You can also give the grooves around the lid a bit of a clean inside the dishwasher. Let's just screw this back on clockwise. It doesn't take much of a turn and then it just locks in. Make sure you get rid of any excess salt that you've spilled inside the base of the dishwasher because salt is corrosive. Oh, look at that. It's a heart shaped sponge. Make sure that your rinse aid is also topped up, then put the bottom basket back in and then you're ready to rock and roll. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.